Hello everyone, this is Matt Morrow, your golf course superintendent, and this is your golf course update for the week of May 4th. One of the biggest benefits of working outside every day is getting to experience the awesomeness of Mother Nature. However, a hailstorm on the afternoon before we're supposed to open could be described as anything but awesome. It was great to finally see golf out on the course, and the staff did a phenomenal job getting things ready on short notice for opening weekend. For those of you who have been to the club, you probably noticed that the parking lot has been seal coated and striped. Liberty Line Striping and Seal Coating was able to come in Sunday evening to start this project and finish it on Monday while the club was closed. This week the staff is replacing the sod on number four walkway and at the bottom of the hill in the swale. On the walkway we're using a fine fescue bluegrass mix and in the bottom of the swale we're using straight fine fescue. Since there are no bunker rakes on the golf course we're asking everyone to smooth the area they play from when in a bunker with their foot. Our staff is also going to be going around throughout the day raking bunkers to keep them smooth and playable. To help limit the touching of common surfaces on the golf course, we have installed a ball retrieval system to help get your ball out of the cup so you don't have to touch the flag or the cup. Using your putter, you can lift the ball out of the cup using the hook on the side of the flag stick. Please remember to return the ball retriever back to its original position for the next group. We'd like to leave you this week with a quick reminder please fix your ball marks, replace your divots, and follow all card signs. Ball marks in particular are a problem in the wet conditions we had this weekend. And here's a quick reminder on how to fix a ball mark and the importance of fixing a ball mark. To repair a ball mark, you want to take your repair tool and insert it at a 45 degree angle on the back side or the high side of the ball mark, gently pushing the turf in three or four times. Once the depression is filled, use your putter to smooth the area for the next group through. A ball mark repaired immediately will heal in as quick as 24 hours, whereas a ball mark that's left unrepaired may take 7 to 14 days to heal. My staff and I would like to thank everyone for their support. We hope you have a safe week and we'll talk to you soon.